Hey, are you excited about our giveaway? They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. <laughs> now, if you watched last week's vlog, that's because that's what Nate always tells me, and that means he loves me. <laughs> I said cancel it. So we that means he loves you. <laughs> last week, when you guys are watching this now, we got four thumbs down early on the vlog. Cancel it. <laughs> I said cancel it. You're ridiculous. Anyway, I got everything packed up. There's a couple more days today and tomorrow if you're watching this when it comes out uh, to enter still. But I, I got to hide this because otherwise you're not going to get it because we're going to eat it. <laughs> True, story. True story. Yes, but it is football Sunday. Uh, we are going to go over to my parents for a little bit. And then uh, see what happens for the rest of the day. But Sunday yeah. is our chill day. We don't do too much if we don't have to. I did a little like just small arm stuff this morning, but I ain't getting, I ain't I ain't getting it. sweaty. I ain't doing it. Ah. <laughs> yes, but there's that. Right. I wanted to show you guys my breakfast today. Nate made this last night or some version of it and I took a bite and I was like, God, that's good. And I have this on my website actually and I just haven't had it in so long. It's under breakfast, under raw cereal bowl. Now, I think technically uh, if you use for sure a raw granola, then it would be raw. But this one's, you know, it's same idea, but not technically raw. But anyway, <laughs> I have some granola an apple chopped up, some almond butter. I put a little bit of pumpkin pie spice on it, cause why not? And then I'm just gonna top it with some almond milk. But I wanted to show you before I like covered it, but it is so good. The layers on it are so good. I just thought I'd show you guys. Good stuff, right? So I'm doing a little bit of meal prep for just the next couple of days for Nate and I. I'm just going to do a tofu scramble that I have going on here. I have this on my website. I'll link it below if you want like a really good breakfast tofu tofu scramble but of course you can make a scramble and change it up to be breakfast style be whatever you want you know whatever flavors you like this is just onions uh two packages of tofu i have a bunch of seasonings of like garlic powder garlic uh salt onion powder a little bit of chili flake just for some extra kick and that's it right now. And then I'm gonna put some nutritional yeast and then I'm gonna put some turmeric in it, which is gonna make it like an egg color. Um, I'm just waiting till uh, it's browned up. It's got a little liquid right now. Now I did also go ahead and put some of this uh, Thrive coconut oil, the butter flavored one. I just think it tastes so, so good. And this is still such a healthy meal that you c I feel like I can afford a little bit of the fat from it, you know? And there's that as well of like actually incorporating some fats. Now I did make, let me show you. I did go ahead and make today just some little quick and easy guacamole it's so good I just did a lemon juice you could do lime which would be a little more traditional but use what you got uh, three avocados and then I used a can of crushed like tomatoes uh, like half a can of that and then the chili lime seasoning is so so good so good so I'll have that to like add on top of this meal and then I'm gonna cook up these sweet potatoes after that's done and put that in the containers as well complete meal my friends we got the protein we got the carbs we got the fats we are covered the, the thing that's crazy is that six containers you think that'd be like you know a good amount of time it'll be gone in like less than two days between us you know <laughs> but that's okay that is okay so i'm just gonna stir this up i like my tofu like really well done if i can really browned up i just think it tastes better uh but it doesn't matter you know you can actually eat tofu raw I don't personally love that, but I've had it before. It's fine. But yeah, I'm just going to let that go. But I thought I'd share that with you guys. Easy. Easy, easy. Yeah, this is so good, though. And uh, I don't know what it is, but lately I've been, like, just putting all my stuff on the counter, like, on the island and, like, leaving it there. Normally I put all this back in drawers or whatever, but I kind of just like it all out and it's easy to, like just grab it when you need it. I don't know. <laughs> um, I did pull out my Tivana tea maker thing. Uh, you fill it with hot water and then when it's ready to go, you put it on top of like your mug and it like releases the water directly into the cup you're using for loose leaf tea without like having the loose leaf go into your cup. It's awesome. And I have some uh, loose leaf ones I want to try. So pulled that out today gave it a little rinse i don't know if you guys can hear that in the background but josie and the pussycats is on tv right now do you remember that movie <laughs> anyway all right so that's what i'm gonna do 
I just thought I would show you guys real quick, just give you an idea. Oh, this is the can of the diced tomatoes I use for that guac. I have a little bit left. I think I'll just throw it in here when this is almost done, just so I don't waste it. There you go. So I thought I would take this week to kind of just focus on some meal ideas and prep ideas for you guys because I feel like I talk about it a lot, but sometimes I don't always share with you the meals that I'm making. So I thought this would be a good time to do that. And I was right. Those preps before of the tofu scramble and the sweet potatoes gone in less than two days. They were insanely delicious and I would totally make it again. Um, I have some more tofu, but I'm out of the sweet potatoes. So I'm going to change it up. I'm going to make a chili. I had mentioned to you guys, I think on my last haul, that I don't have like a chili recipe like on my website for you guys or anything. And we've made plenty. And originally we were going to do it with the Trader Joe's meatballs. I thought that would be really good in it and I still think it would be but I forgot I had this in the freezer and I pulled it out a couple days ago in the fridge to like defrost and I'm gonna do this instead. I think this will be really good. Basically it's like a ground beef but of course it is a meatless one. Uh, I've heard you guys tell me that this is really really good. I have yet to try this brand. We also have the little like hamburger patties by them as well. Got these at Whole Foods last time. And then basically, I'm just going to take some of the like traditional seasonings to season it up, of course. I'm going to use this Better Than Bouillon vegetable base. Love this stuff. This stuff like makes the best soup. Super flavorful. It really is. It's a high in sodium, but a little goes a long way. And obviously for big batch like cooking, it's not as bad then, you know. I'm going to chop up some of these carrots I have because I think chili like with carrots in it is pretty traditional and good. I'm also going to do something that's maybe a little bit different, but I think think it'll just make it a lot more filling even though beans can be filling for sure some of this farro this 10 minute farro we were on a kick last year of doing a uh, this veggie soup again on my website I'm gonna link it below because seriously this is what it reminds me of it's a veggie farro soup it is so good you guys and I cannot wait to start making that again and I, I even mentioned that to Nate the other day I'm like we totally will because it was so good um by the way it's supposed to be 90 degrees something 95 or something today and then this is supposed to be it and it's supposed to like start dropping and I'm so ready for it <laughs> anyway uh I just thought this would bulk it up and just be really good in it so I'm going to try adding that to it and this is the 10 minute like cooking one so it's like a quick cook oats almost but the quick cooking farro got it at Trader Joe's got some onion here I'm going to saute up with the carrots first got the, the diced tomatoes and tomato sauce both from Costco and then I have some garbanzo beans and some red kidney beans I also have some white cannelloni, cannelloni, is that what it is? Beans too, I might throw in there. We'll see. 
But I'm gonna start with this. So yeah, I'm gonna saute these up first, put this in two to kind of like brown up, see how long it takes to really cook up. And then basically just add all of this to it, cook it up a little bit, season it, then add this base, add a ton of water to it, and then throw this in so it can cook in that water. Basically it'll boil in that and that'll be it. I think this will work. Now chili is usually super thick. So maybe I should not do a ton of water. I mean, not a whole lot. Maybe do this separate. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna see what I'm feeling as I go. I'll let you know. All right, checking back in. I have my oranges here I'm snacking on too. Uh, I'm gonna go with my gut on this one. Maybe I'm just gonna make a chili-like soup. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think this is gonna be good. <laughs> I would say, Probably if you're gonna make more of a tomato-based soup though, have tomato paste. That always makes like the best flavor in soups, but I don't have it, but whatever, we're gonna make it work. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with my gut on this one. I think this is gonna work. So I'm just cooking up the onions and carrots now, and I just opened up this like fake meat it smells really good. You know how like the Beyond Meat one, when it's raw and sometimes even when it's like cooking up, it just, it has a terrible smell. Even though it tastes good, it has an awful smell. This actually smells really good, but it almost has like a sweetness smell to it. It's hard to describe. I don't know, but like, I think it's going to be good. It's just a little different. I was not expecting that. Um, and then I rinsed out the beans. They'll be ready to go. And then I'll just throw that in. Should be easy. Easy stuff, that's what we like. And then I was just thinking about it, I should have put this in like a deep pan if I was gonna make a soup, right? But I naturally just went to this one that I always use. And so now I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call this a choop, a chili soup. I don't know, <laughs> you get it. So I added all the seasonings and I realized I didn't even show you chili powder. I added chili powder to this, obviously. I just didn't pull it out because I've lost my mind. <laughs> anyway, I got all the seasonings in here. The meat is in here. The uh, carrots and onion is where we're at right now. Looks good, it smells really good. We're just gonna let this go for a little bit and let it kind of brown up and We'll see, we'll see. Um, I usually like to like season up at this point instead of later when it's very liquidy. Uh, I just think it absorbs the flavor more. It kind of cooks into like the hardiness of the meal, if that makes sense, in this case being the fake meat. But with that said, I do kind of heavily season it. So right now, if I was to taste this, it would be so salty <laughs> because I don't have all the other ingredients in it. But that's just kind of how I typically go up, uh, about doing recipes. I don't know, I thought I'd share that with you. Looks good. Cool. Honestly, this looks bomb. <laughs> I'm into this. So, okay, everything is in here except for the farro. And then of course the water that I'm gonna add to do that too. But this looks really good, you guys. Oh, this is easy meal too. All right, moment of truth have the lid on it so it's super watery right now which is totally normal but I'm gonna leave the lid off now for a little bit this has been on there for like 10 minutes so the barley or I'm sorry the farrow should be pretty much done according to the package but it smells amazing you guys it smells so good okay the meat looks a little funny but <laughs> but that's okay and uh, I'm gonna let it thicken up a little bit this is where again tomato paste would be really helpful too but I'm just I don't have any right now this looks bomb. I'm not mad at it, but if you do leave the lid off, it will thicken up some. So that's what I'm gonna let it do, just like that. And I'll check back on it in a few minutes. Um, let's see what we got here. So I just turned off the heat and it thickened up pretty well. And then I just put on top here a bunch of nutritional yeast. If you are new to nutritional yeast, start with a little bit. Cause I just remember for myself, I did not really like it at first. It's very, very good for you. It's a great source of B12, good protein. Um, it's great to put into dishes and it gives it like a cheesy flavor actually. But at first, if you're just not used to it, it can be a little weird. <laughs> so I just say, make it in something like this where you're not having it truly raw. Cause I'll like sprinkle this like on top of stuff now and I love it. But it took me doing this first to like acquire the taste for it, I guess. 
Um, you can even see it kind of changes the color of it and everything. Um, it's so good. Um, and again, very good for you. This looks bomb. Look how much it thickened up too. I probably let it go for a, like another eight minutes or so. Um, I'll put this recipe below, of course, for you guys. Um, I just wanted you to kind of see the process of where I came up with this. <laughs> this is how most recipes come to actually of just kind of like throwing stuff together and see what happens. But that looks so good, super filling. And I have still some of those um, crackers these ones over here the simple mills fine brown sea salt crackers uh, i think that'll be perfect with that just to dunk in them good stuff and i'm back with my containers told you we ate it all it was so good and i'm gonna fill these up and i'll be all set again for another couple days Guys, i tasted it quickly like just for spices and stuff in the pan i said it was delicious and it is but now i have it all in these containers and i got a good chunk of that meat this is so good, you guys. I'm calling it choop. <laughs> oh my God. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that is good. The Pharaoh makes it. Yeah, guys, that is so good. Uh huh. Okay. Mmm. Perfect. He is loving this chili. Nate approved. This is crazy. <laughs> I had already won myself. Guys, this is good. That is good. How crazy that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's like dark outside right now. But yeah, no, it's... Mm. I just showed him quickly, like, scan through the video oh. of, like, how I made it. And he's like, yep, smashing. yep. Smashing. <laughs> Absolutely smashing. Good. Mm. Glad you like mm. it. By the way, these little um, crackers I showed you earlier, if you've never had them before, they're like the ones made from almond flour. They taste like wheat thins. Mm -hmm. Straight up wheat thins. I personally almost think they taste better. Like, they're just really good. Oh, you're, good. you're welcome. You're oh, welcome. Oh, yeah, ma'am. I know. I told him, I was like, I didn't know if, like, the pharaoh would be, like, too much. He's like, nope. Nope. Uh -oh. It's perfect. Nope. Don't, yeah. don't play don't with it. Don't play with just it. Don't. Sometimes, <laughs> and, and I'm... You gotta remember, I'm actually like really, really like food critic y a little bit sometimes. <laughs> yes. I am. Don't change a damn thing. Don't change a thing. thing. <laughs> Normally I'm just like, oh, you could have went a little like two minutes longer on the rice or blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, blah. Don't change it. Don't that, change that's it. That's crazy. All right. Good, mm -hmm. good, good. You ready for it? No. <laughs> Here we go.